Welcome to this Future Living Blogcast series. The purpose of this series is to look ahead into your future, but to also look back to your earlier life, what you have done, who you've met, where you have gone, and so forth. Many folks say that you should never look back. I disagree. There are so many twists and turns from your past life, some good, some bad, maybe hmm, some even ugly, all of which you can learn from to perhaps design your future life. Mistakes were made and, and hopefully never to be repeated, but if you can't recall them, you have little hope of not making the same mistake again. One thing I remember from my past was the phrase, living the life of Riley. I'm sure you've heard it as well. I'm not sure I ever understood the point of it, mainly because I always wanted to know who this guy Riley was and where he lived. Funnily enough, I once knew a man called Riley. Nice guy with a good job, but to be honest, I never fancied his lifestyle. So the phrase was not in my everyday vocabulary. Nevertheless, I always wanted to have some idea of what a so-called better life would be like. Would I be rich? Why is that always the first thing on everyone's list? I guess it means that we reckon that having the good life can only come about if we have lots of money. I did Google it and discovered that it was a song from the 1880s asking what Riley would do if he suddenly became wealthy. Okay, got it. But how does it apply to me or to you? If you suddenly become wealthy, what would you do? Stop working? Buy a bigger house? Buy that elusive electric vehicle? Take expensive holidays? Buy lots of gadgets? You get the idea. Or maybe just sit on the couch and count it. Cool, but eh, rather boring. Unfortunately, the chances of you becoming rich overnight are mm, somewhere between zero and zilch. Sorry to burst your balloon. However, there's nothing to stop you dreaming of a better future. But why stop there? You must act. You must get in motion and make plans and make changes. Some things you can easily accomplish, some you can't. If you fancy becoming a Formula One racing driver, you're probably overshooting your aspirations. But you could become a famous author. Well, at least you could become an author. The famous piece can come later. Don't set your targets too high at the outset. That won't work. So, start making small steps, but have a goal ultimately in mind. No point in starting with baby steps if the staircase leads nowhere. I'd like to get a better job. Great. Do you need more qualifications? Okay, go get them. Do you need better experience? Okay, change jobs now to get it. Do you need to move to the big city? Get packing. Someone once said, just do it. Thanks for listening.